Hello, Sherry Brown with the Sherry Brown and Zach McReynolds team over here at Home Smart. Contingencies and being contingent when selling your home. So let's say you want to sell your home and you want to buy a new home to purchase. A lot of people are asking us what's the best way to go about this and what are the layers of contingencies. So the best way to look at it is there's a tier of contingencies. You have contingent, your home is not on the market, but you want to purchase a new home. You have contingent, your house is on the market, but you have no offers and you want to put an offer on a new home. You have contingent, you have an offer, you're in escrow and you found a home that you'd like to purchase. And then you have non-contingent. So what's the best way to go about it? Honestly, if I'm a listing agent and I'm looking at you as a buyer who wants to purchase one of our listings, if you are fully in escrow with an accepted offer, and our contingent, that has a lot of weight to it because there's motivation for you to want to purchase our property. We know that you're gonna be tied into our property because of your contingency. You have an accepted offer on your home. You're in escrow, you're motivated, and you're ready to buy. Now let's say you're a buyer that hasn't even put their home on the market, but you want to purchase my listing. Well, that to me lacks motivation. I may not take you as serious because you haven't showed the commitment to the process of buying a home. And that is selling your house first, getting it listed, having pictures taken. So a, a buyer that has a home that needs to be for sale and that's not for sale and wants to put an offer on my property, that's going to be less competitive and I might take the chance on waiting for another buyer to come around. Now let's say you're a buyer that has their home on the market, you just have no offers yet, but you want to put an offer on our listing. Now I will analyze your home and see, did you price your home correctly? Do you have professional photography? Does the home look like it's sellable or somebody's going to want to buy it? Do I have any buyers for your property? Because a property that's priced right and marketed correctly, that goes a long way with me as a listing agent knowing that, hey, I know this buyer is going to sell their home eventually, if not very soon. So taking a chance with their offer, they're committed to the process, they're doing everything they can to sell their home. I would advise my seller to say, hey, you know what? It's not a bad offer. It's a great price. And I think it's everybody can be in a win-win situation at the end of the day. So again, the contingencies are not on the market, not listed for sale. There's listed for sales with no offer. And then there's fully in escrow. So I advise you, if you're thinking about purchasing a new home and you have a home to sell, definitely talk to a realtor, get professional photography, price your home according to market value, and go through that process first before you find your dream home because you don't want to do what some buyers do and they find that perfect house and they don't have the opportunity to purchase it because they're not ready. If you have any questions or would like us to uh, have a consultation with you, give me a call 661 877-1929. Again, 661-877-1929. Take care. Bye.